All right, so uh, this uh, what episode is going to be on these little guys. So if you don't know what they are, temple sticks. I believe, I think they were actually designed or called tempo or they're temperature crayons, but I think tempo is uh, one of the brands, but uh, this one's a Markle, this one's a Thermalette. Uh, 150 degrees and 250 degrees. Now I'm just going to use a little propane torch on a piece of angle iron and see if I can't explain how these work. If not, then I'm going to be disappointed and I'm going to have to roll out my oxyacetylene torch to get that to work. But I'm going to try it with just these two first and I highly doubt I've got an 1100 degree and a 1200 degree one. And they come in all different increments. 25 degree increments typically, you know, 100 degrees on up to you name it, 1200, 1250, something like that. And they're surprisingly accurate. I read these things, they're, they're uh, plus or minus 1%. I mean, 150 degrees, okay, so that's like one and a half degrees, no big deal. Uh, 1100 degrees, so 11 degrees. It's like, you mean to tell me uh, a piece of wax can tell me plus or minus in a 22 degree window where my temperature's at? That's pretty awesome. Resistors typically, unless you get really good ones, don't even have that type of whatever. We're not talking about electronics. So I'm going to just bring you in on a little piece of steel I have over here and start with uh, these and the propane torch and explain what they are as you just kind of scratch it on the steel and it, it leaves a little bit of wax behind as if a uh, crayon on paper. And when the temperature gets to the listed temperature, it will melt and wet out and that is your indicator that you're at that temperature. Simple enough. So let's get to it. Alright, so once more, just a propane torch. And I've got this piece of steel nice and shiny. And the 150 or 250 degree and then the 150 degree one like i say there i mean they go they go way up there that one yeah you can see that 1100 and then this one get it in the frame 1200 so but i don't really anticipate being able to melt those with this torch so So what I'm going to start off with is just a good line for keeping line. This line is the 150 and then this line here is the 250. And we're going to see how well I can get these to wet out on the camera. And again, this one here is our 150, and then this one here. That you can barely even see is 250. And you can see right here, it starts to get translucent, so I'm at 150. And as I'm going to move over to the 250 degree one. And it's got no problem getting up to that temperature. I'm actually getting a lot of moisture out of the steel right now, too. So I'm going to give you more just an instant gratification on what this is. This is the 250 one. And you instantly can see how it got. It just wetted out. So, I mean, it's wetted out right there, too. Uh, more over here. It's, it's, there's no wetting. Whereas over here, it wets out. So, yeah, let's keep this up a little bit more, like I say. You'll see it instantly wets. 
And that's how you use a temple stick. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm going to say I just, there's no way I'm going to be able to get this 1100 degree one to melt. Because 1100 degrees, you should be seeing some glowing steel, but I'm just going to, you know, it's a, uh, puts forth a mark. Maybe just the flame itself might actually melt it, but. Yeah, the flame by itself is a, it, probably just about being able to, but it's not yet. And again, taking this uh, 250 degree pen, I'm just going to put down a good bit of marks. Now I'm heating over here out of the frame. You can barely see me out there. Just waiting for that steel to actually heat up. And there you can see it's starting to make, it's starting to melt that crayon. And that's how you know you're at that 250 degree mark right there. So this is a, these applications, these are useful when you need a preheat. A lot of times in, on thicker steels, you need to preheat to 250 or 300 degrees and this is one of the acceptable methods of determining that you are at that predetermined heat that you need to be at. So I hope that this was useful to you. If you liked it, hit the like button. Uh, otherwise, please leave a comment uh, saying what you didn't like and maybe what I can explain more if you need some more explanation about these things. So thanks for watching, if you're not subscribed I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button if you are interested in anything metal related, welding engineering or this or that. And uh, we can get you some more videos that you can watch shortly. <coughs> Alright, kind of smells. So Heated it up pretty good. This is the 150 degree one. It just slides right across there. No problems whatsoever, right? <laughs> let's, let's get this uh, 250 degree one out. Now I'm just curious. Yeah, it's not quite sliding across near, well, yeah, there it's good, but, you know, they melt. Goodness, this could be art. You could just keep going back and forth on this. Just be like, ooh, look at the pretty color. Like a water paint or something. Wax paint. <laughs> Alright, I've had enough fun.